I've been a cat dad for the past 25 days, so I really haven't gotten a lot of work done. I've been making sure this little guy isn't uh, hurting himself around my apartment. His name is Oscar, and he's just gonna be chilling and doing mischievous things in the background. So if you hear any noises or scratching or falling or breaking, that's what's um, happening. Uh, this is a setup I've been putting together. This is my budget iPad OS oriented student setup. It's not by any means like super cheap, but it costs under like a decently spacked uh, MSRP of a MacBook Air, which is so exciting. You can get into the iPad Air at $599. I recommend getting a higher capacity one, but still you could do it. Um, this monitor right here is around $350. We got a keyboard, we got a mouse, we got speakers. It's basically the best of both worlds, sort of a Mac OS style, you know, like desktop setup if you wanna do work sitting down. And of course you can, you know, unplug this because iPad OS allows you to do that now and you can bring your iPad on the go. Um, but yeah, let's get into things here. First up with the desk, this is a Vivo something or another. I bought this like two years ago. I've had it for a while, but I know for a fact this is on Amazon for about 300. It's also standing, which is really nice. So if you're in a dorm room, I mean, this is small enough to fit into a corner, but you can also stand up here. Um, I'm not including the chair in the setup, to be honest. I didn't actually fit, I didn't factor it in, but this is something off of Amazon for 200. You can get a decent chair for like 100 bucks that's gonna support your back, but I'm not gonna include that. You buy what's in, within your budget. Um, but what's on the desk is more important here. We have some kind of Dell monitor. Honestly, guys, I've been so jumbled taking care of this cat and taking care of my mental health. I really didn't sort of recall all the specific names and models and such, but this is a um, sort of like mid-tier Dell monitor I got off of Amazon. I'll leave links to everything in the description, um, but this is 27 inches, I believe IPS, 4K, USB-C, very important because not only do you get great picture quality, um, but you get USB-C connectivity, which does charge your iPad here, so you can unplug and plug it in. No more or no other cables, no dongles needed to get the iPad OS experience working, and it looks great. Great. Um, it's bright. It's a lot like my beloved U2720Q, um, which I have been using for a while, even now. Um, but yeah, you can pull up iPad OS like so. Of course, it's still glitchy. I don't think iPad OS is officially coming out until October because Stage Manager is so unstable still. But you know, still very impressive. A wonderful experience, I would say. Huge deal for students who want to just have an iPad and only an iPad. Um, will the website load? This, this, this reminds me of the Steve Jobs moment where he's like, could you turn your Wi-Fi off? <laughs> he's like, it's not working. Demos never work, but here we are. We're on the web here. This display is bright, it's sharp. I don't recommend going under 4K, honestly. I know that kind of sounds bougie and unnecessary, but um, Stage Manager and just any Apple operating system looks best at somewhat retina quality. 5K is true retina, but this looks really, really great. And this reminds me again of the U2720, a much more expensive panel. I think this is 350 nits bright as well, which is the same brightness as that other panel. So it might be a little less color accurate, I think, but overall it's pretty much the same panel minus a more clean design and thinner bezels. This isn't even that bad. I covered up the Dell logo with a piece of tape and the stand is nice too. It is height adjustable. Um, also too, behind the monitor, let's see if we can look around here. This does not look good. You can actually um, use a bracket included. I just lost them. We have a little light bar here from a company. Um, I just turn it on. I plug it into a USB uh, A port on the monitor and it just offers this really nice sort of glow. It you know just makes the whole experience a little less depressing. I'll turn it off and show you how much of a difference this makes. I forget where the, oh, here's the control. So this is with it off. And like, sure, it still looks nice, but you're missing this sort of ambiance or glow. And I love using that with even my studio display in my uh, creative office in the other room. So this is just a little touch. It's like 20 bucks. Great product, I recommend it. And you can actually properly adhere to your monitor and not use gaffer tape like I did. Um, as for the keyboard, this is from Fopet, honestly. It's a no-name brand. I found this keyboard. I actually ordered two in this style and I like this one better. It is membrane, it's nothing super crazy. A lot of people have been asking me about it, but I love it. It has a lot of character. It also comes with a mouse, which I'll talk about in a second here. I do have the dongle right here. Um, this was the only other available USB-A port and it does look a little weird, but I didn't want to get a dongle for my iPad, so we're putting it right here. Um, it's really not that noticeable and I'm sure a lot of people, most students are not gonna be super weird about how things look. This is really out of the way and you can have easy access to it just in case you wanted to plug it in to something on the go or a different device. Um, so that's that, it, it, it just takes like, you know, a double A battery or triple A, honestly, I don't know, just batteries, they come with them. Um, it's all wireless, we have a mouse too. Um, it's okay, it's decently tactile, it works. Um, honestly, you know, 
If you have a Magic Keyboard, which I'll talk about in a minute here, you could use the trackpad. Um, but this is good enough, and um, although you can't, you know, sort of scroll through sideways through some um, iPad elements or iPad OS elements, um, you can definitely um, push this to your iPad display and then do it over here. So like I can scroll through, you know, some of the options here in terms of, you know, menus. So, you know, that's something you have to do if you don't have a trackpad, but I would recommend getting one later. Actually, I'll uh, pull up these accessories here. When you have money later, or if you have more money up front, you can definitely get an external trackpad used for I think around a hundred bucks. This is one, I don't have it connected, but of course, you know, you're able to use more of the iPad gestures and such. Um, but also too, you can get a magic keyboard. You cannot go wrong with this. It is a fantastic um, accessory that you can get for the iPad Pro or the iPad Air in this case here. And speaking of cases, my cat, hold on, let me just see what my cat is doing. Hey dude, what are we, what are we up to? What are we doing? What are we destroying now? <gasps> Excuse me. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. What? No. Okay. Ooh. No, 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 no. You're not allowed. You can't be eating people's backpacks, bro. No. All right. Go explore. Enjoy. Here, look. All right, I think he's distracted. Um, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Um, like I said, the Magic Keyboard is a really wonderful feature. There are other cases, or the one other case I'd recommend is the Logitech Combo Touch. Maybe a bridge product if they fixed their trackpads. I don't think they did, but correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, you can uh, buy this and you can use the trackpad and the keyboard while you're using Stage Manager. That's actually how Apple recommends you use Stage Manager here. Also, two quick shout out to Moth. They make these amazing iPad Air and iPad Pro cases. They snap right on. They have a little cradle for your Apple Pencil so you don't lose it in your backpack. Really, really helpful here. You also have this faux leather on the back here and it has like this patented pass-through technology which allows you to attach to the Magic Keyboard, no problem here. And also too, it has, it has like enhanced magnets on the back. So you can attach to different accessories like this little stand here on this origami inspired stand. So I had it over here like so, just chilling. And if you didn't wanna buy the uh, Magic Keyboard, you could just have this as well and have it on the go. So when you're just, you know, just using it in class, you can have it propped up. You can also have it propped up like this. iPad OS crashed, what's new? Um, so anyway, um, that is a nice uh, additional accessory that I'll recommend and list here in the video descriptions. But yeah, you can plug into or attach onto the Magic Keyboard and plug right into uh, the monitor once again. And I can move the keyboard out of the way just to show you how this experience differs. Um, here we are. So we're back here. Um, and here we are, we have the uh, trackpad. We also have a secondary display pretty much. And we had it over here too. And of course you could have something else open on the side, but using this this way is very, very nice. So I could have like a Safari tab open here, for example. I can also open up on the display, maybe um, Notion or something. So we can be doing, or you can be doing two tasks at once. Will it decide to open? Who knows? Let's try Spotify instead. Demos are always super fun. Um, is it gonna open? No. Wonderful. Oh my goodness. Can we, let's try to open Spotify again. There we go, something works, amazing. Um, so yeah, you can have two things open at once here, which is ideal. And of course, like I said, you can use the trackpad to scroll sideways. I'm trying to see like a, yeah, here we go. So like I can use two fingers to scroll through with a mouse. You can't really do that. Maybe you can, yeah, like I can't click and drag, but here you can do that. So some UI elements are sort of limited to or need a trackpad, which is again, why you might wanna consider buying an external one um, if you don't wanna buy the Magic Keyboard, which is a bit expensive, but again, you really can't go wrong with this accessory. It does add to the overall price, but it does bring you sort of laptop-like capability and the Magic Keyboard and you know some illuminated keys when you're using it in the dark here. Um, what else we got? Oh, speakers. Let me actually close Spotify because I don't wanna get copyrighted, striked, or <laughs> however you say that. Um, let's open up YouTube to play some copyright-free music. And I can actually push that to the display here. That's probably better. Um, by the way, using Safari, for certain web services like Gmail and Google Docs, I found works a lot better than using the native apps for now. iPad OS is still pretty glitchy. So if you do wanna use it, the web Safari works really, really well, just like it would on a Mac pretty much. So let's look up copyright free music. 
Um, these speakers are the tried and true Logitech Z200s. I've had them for years. I've used them on PC setups, Mac setups, before I got my studio display. Absolutely love them. I got them for like 40 bucks and they're like 10 watts, so they're pretty loud. So let's look up. I'll play this 1261 clan stuff. And um, the audio is passed through USB-C to a 3.5 millimeter jack in the monitor to these. So it's super clean, one cable. And yeah, you can't go wrong. You can play stuff in your dorm room and whatever. You can also attach um, this to, I would say, you know, probably, maybe, maybe if you attach another device or like a console or computer via HDMI, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to use these speakers as well. And speaking of which here, um, I don't know if they're on the back. Let me actually check. They're probably on the bottom. I can probably show you a picture, but um, anyway, there are a lot of other inputs on here. Let me actually do a little like, check with my camera because I, I forget. Um, we have, so we have two HDMI that I'm not using and USB-C. So two HDMI, which is incredible. So let's say you wanted to attach a switch. Let's say you wanted to attach an Apple TV or an Xbox or some kind of console. You could do that, but also designate USB-C just for your iPad. And the fact that you can just have your iPad on the go as its own standalone experience, you know, for note taking and such. Let's see if I can open up an app like Notability here. A huge reason why you want to buy an iPad, that's for sure. You know, here we are, you know, I can go to class. I can take some notes here. By the way, shout out to paper like screen protectors. It offers a paper like surface, which makes note taking so much more natural. Um, it doesn't feel like you're just sliding across way too smooth glass. So I'll leave a link to that in the video description. A must have iPad OS or iPad um, note taking sort of, um, productivity accessory. Um, but yeah, you have this wonderful experience that we've known and loved for a while. And then you can plug in once you're at home, once you're at your desk and you want to really dive into work or research or multitasking and um, maybe, oh, so it's going to, it's going to mirror some apps. But if I close this, there we go. Now we have like a Mac OS like experience, not quite, but like I said, iPad OS is its, is its own experience. And the fact that you can view it full screen and use apps full screen, like Safari, especially it's just so wonderful and it makes me enjoy using the iPad a lot more. It really makes it feel more like a futuristic, versatile device. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else on this desk. These lamps are from Target. I wouldn't recommend them specifically, um, but you can get whatever uh, lamps you want. Um, again, buy whatever chair you want. Um, as for headphones, I mean, you really can't go wrong with AirPods. I'm sure Apple's doing some kind of promo where you can get these. Don't quote me on that, but you really can't go wrong with AirPods, especially if you don't want to spend money on speakers. Um, and yeah, that is about it here. Check out my links to Paperlike, also uh, Moft with this really great snap uh, system case here. And um, yeah, I'll leave links to everything in the video description as well. I've really enjoyed using this setup. Again, I really hadn't used iPadOS extensively until I put this together. And I hope it's economical enough to justify purchasing all of this opposed to like just a MacBook Air. Like I said, this um, iPad by itself, um, plus this case, plus this, um, not, not, the, not the Magic Keyboard, just the Moft case. The Dell monitor, the speakers, the desk, I believe is all around 1500 or maybe a little under 1500 USD. Of course, that's more expensive elsewhere as well. But the fact that you're getting all of this versatility and value here for less than like a 512 gig or higher MacBook Air is really mind blowing to me. And again, it makes the iPad such an exciting, versatile device, as I kept saying here. I hope this has been enjoyable. Thank you for waiting for me to create content. I have been prioritizing me, myself and I, and this cat, and uh, I'm really excited to continue making content for the fall. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.